In Islam, the Prophet وسلم, when he came to Medina, he found the people of Medina celebrating and playing and in a state of joy on one particular day. So he asked them, what is this date? And they told him that this is a day that we used to celebrate long time ago. And we celebrate this annually. So the Prophet وسلم, denied him from doing this. And he told them that we have only two feasts in Islam. And that is the feast of Al-Fitr and the feast of Adha. Mm -hmm. So it is not permissible to have an innovated celebration or feast. Even if it's celebrating the national day, celebrating Mother's Day, Labor's Day, whatever day you can mention it, it is not permissible in Islam. Now going to Mawlid al-Nabi, the Prophet Sallallahu birthday. If you want to analyze this, to know if it's a sunnah or in an, an innovation, first of all, people celebrate it on the 12th day of Rabi' al-Awwal. And the authentic opinion of scholars that the Prophet was born on the 9th of the third month of the Islamic calendar. The consensus of all scholars that he died on the 12th of Rabi' al-Awwal or the third month of the Islamic calendar, which means when you claim to be celebrating the birth of the Prophet وسلم, you're actually celebrating his death. You have to always have a pattern to follow, to know if this is a sunnah or if it's an innovation. Anything that draws you closer to Allah Azza has to have an evidence. You have to follow someone that is the Quran, follow the sunnah, follow the companions in order for you to be on the safe side. So if you come to the Mawlid, the celebration of the birthday of the Prophet وسلم, did the Prophet وسلم, celebrate his own Mawlid? The answer would be no. The only indication to his birthday was that he used to fast on Mondays. And they asked him, why do you fast Mondays? So he told them that this is the day that I was born in and this is the day that Allah re revealed the Quran. So if you wish to celebrate the birthday of the Prophet وسلم, fast every Monday. The Prophet himself did not celebrate his birthday, nor did his companions Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman and Ali. May Allah be pleased with them all. And no one doubted that they loved the Prophet وسلم, more than we did. The Prophet himself did not celebrate the birthday of his grandfather Abraham or Jesus or Moses or any of the prophets of Allah which indicates that it is a clear innovation. So whoever celebrates the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ, he either knows more than the Prophet and this is blasphemous mm -hmm. because no one knows more than the Prophet ﷺ, or he is claiming that the Prophet knew that it was it is good to celebrate, but he did not inform his ummah. And again, he is accusing the Prophet Sallallahu of betraying the message and not delivering all. And this is again an act of blasphemy. Oh